video, my name is Kristen, and if you click on this video, it's because you want to learn a little bit more about how to apply your F on Flawless Concealer from Il Maquillage. So we're gonna go over some highlighting, we're gonna go over how to cover and different strategic placements for you and how to figure out what's gonna work best for you and how to best apply this concealer. So I took my 90 second quiz and easily I decided that I wanted something that was gonna brighten because y'all, I have got some dark circles, okay? And the shade that I came out with was 03. I love, love, love this concealer. It does not cake. It doesn't crease under my eyes. It doesn't look super, super heavy. Now that I'm older and in my 30s, um, I can't wear heavy products under my eyes. And to be honest, I've done makeup for about nine to 10 years now. And I have tried every concealer under the sun. You name it, I've tried it on myself, on my clients. This is one that stays on all day. I don't even need to set it, which is huge if you have texture, if you have like really fine lines and wrinkles, it's huge when you don't have to add powder on top of something, iconic, okay? So here's some tips and tricks when you're taking your 90 second quiz. Be aware that if you want something that's going to brighten and then the quiz, it asks you, do I want to brighten or do I want coverage? It's going to cater to your skin tone based on the quiz you took for your woke up like this foundation. When you want to brighten your under eye, it's going to give you a shade that's going to be a little bit lighter than your skin tone. When you want coverage, it's going to give you a color that's going to be a little bit closer to your skin tone. Okay, so that way you don't have like spots on the face that don't match with the foundation and things of that nature. All right, guys. So make sure you take your 90 second quiz. You are about to be amazed at how well this blends out. And I'm so excited. So for my face shape, my face is super oval. <laughs> it's round. I got a, got a, I got a nice size real estate of this forehead guys. So for me personally, I don't really put concealer on my forehead because wherever you put light, that is where the human eye is going to see and it's going to be attracted to. Okay. So for me, I like to take a little bit of the concealer, put it on the inner corner and kind of right here in the outer corner of my eye. The reason I like to do this guys is because I'm going to be using a beauty sponge. This is going to help blend the concealer out really flawlessly. It's going to do all the work for me. If you want to use a brush, you absolutely can. It might take you a little bit longer to get the work done and blend it out, but the results will still be beautiful. If you have a really fast paced life or you have to do your makeup really fast in the morning, maybe in the car, whatever the case may be, the beauty sponge, you have to invest in it. It's going to do the work for you, I promise. I'm also going to take this a little bit around my nose, guys, because I have a bit redness, okay? I'm gonna put a little bit on my chin, just a dab, because I have some redness there too. Because I already have an oval shaped face, wherever I put this lightness of concealer, it's gonna make it look longer or make it come forward. So keep that in mind whenever you're highlighting and, and concealing and all those things, okay? All right, guys, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm actually going to press it into my eye area. And you're gonna see the beauty sponge literally blend everything out for me. I'm gonna actually angle it now. So you see how, okay, let me break this down too. You see how as I'm blending it, the pointiest side of the sponge is in the tightest, or it's like leaning towards the tightest area of my eye. That's really gonna help with your blending. Now that I'm coming to the outer portion of my eye, I'm actually going to turn and I'm gonna make sure that the tiniest point of my sponge is pointed towards this area, just to really make sure that I can control the product. Now that I'm getting against my nose, I'm gonna actually blend this out right here too, and boom. Look how easy that was. Look, I'm gonna get really close so you guys can see how smooth that looks. It's not creasing. It does not look cakey. Like, what? I love that this concealer does not cake and doesn't crease under the eye. The formulation of this, I, I don't think I've tried a concealer that does this, that I haven't had to set. Normally I have to set it and that can cause a problem sometimes because you know, I don't mind setting it guys, but to be honest, like when you get older, for all of my people who are maybe 30 and up, you know, we have fine lines and wrinkles and sometimes it can look a little heavy. So really make sure you do your skincare. But then once you put this on guys, look at this. This is fantastic. Okay, so here's another tip and trick 
for if you really struggle with dark circles, maybe they're hereditary, maybe you work long nights, long hours, you just have trouble sleeping and you're like, Kirsten, that's cute, but I really need a little bit more coverage, girl. And I'm like, okay, I got you. This is a makeup artist trick that I really like to share with anyone, all my clients, anybody that I'm talking to when it comes to makeup. Makeup artists love to use light multiple layers of product. So when you see someone on the red carpet or in a music video or whatever the case may be on social media, I promise you they're not, well, some people might, but it's best not to slather a thick amount of products because then that'll cause cake and build up and we don't want no cake face, you know what I mean? We just wanna look snatched. So that's what we're gonna go for. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of this FM Flawless Concealer and the only place that I'm gonna put it is maybe my struggle area. So when I look down, you can kind of see a little bit of the shadow. I'm just gonna come right here. That's it. This is literally what I do every single day. I'm not gonna add a ton of concealer under the eyes. If that's your style, boo, do you. But for me, this is what I'm going to do. Once I kind of add that on there, I'm going to just keep the sponge in its placement because I just want the coverage to be right here. I don't need it to spread out. I don't need it to come down towards the bottom of my eye um, or like in the high points of my cheek. I really just need that extra little touch of coverage right here in this inner corner. So that's really where I'm gonna concentrate it, right here. And I like to just press it. Kind of looks like I'm beating my eye, but I promise it doesn't hurt at all. It just feels like a little pillow is just tapping me. Oh, boom. All right, guys. I just love it. Look now, see how important it is to have a little bit of concealer. Even it just balances your face because naturally the natural points of the sun and the sunlight, they kind of hit these inner parts of our face naturally. So now our face has dimension. It doesn't look flat. So all of my babies out there, all of my beauties, all my makeup heads, if you are new to makeup, if you're a veteran to makeup, if you're a makeup wearer and you're like, Kirsten, sometimes when I do my makeup, I feel like I look really flat. Try to start incorporating some concealer. This FM Flawless Concealer, I'm telling you, it's gonna be a game changer for you. You're gonna love it. And as you can see, I have not set it and it's not creasing. Normally, like 30 seconds after I apply concealer, guys, it's creasing everywhere. And boom, it's not creasing. I just love doing this. I don't know why it's so therapeutic. I'm like, yes, yes. All right, you guys. So there you have it. I hope that these tips and tricks were helpful. Hopefully it answered your question on what's the best way to wear this concealer? What's the best way to apply the concealer? <laughs> should you use a brush? Should you use a sponge? You can, like I said before, guys, you can absolutely use a brush if that is your tea. But to be honest, I recommend a beauty sponge because it's gonna make your life so much easier. So definitely invest in one. You can use this for the face, for the under eyes, anywhere that you need it, okay? So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.